The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the July 28th, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna toss at us. Now today, you and I, we're gonna go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but even more important than that, that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. I'd love to hear from you at 877-927-6648. Now, if you got a question, but you can't call in, send me an email. Send that off early. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. And inside that subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do so let's go ahead and get this show started on fantastic fabulous friday of course this is tiger financial news network i'm steve rhodes welcome to the show we got a sea of green out there you've got all the u.s indices nearly all the sectors traded to the upside the dow's up 205 the s p 42 the nasdaq 100 260 the russell 24 semi 73 largest percentage move is the uh, semis they're up about two percent Gold's up 14 bucks, 7 tenths of a percent. Silver's up 4 tenths of a percent. That's 10 pennies. Light sweet crude is off 26 cents. Natural gas up 3 pennies. 30 year treasury printed out at 124.14. That's up 18 ticks. Now, leading the charge to the upside, you got Boston Beer, Sam Adams, up $59. That is a 19% move. That's a big move. Must be selling a lot of beer. Rada Pharmaceuticals up 57 bucks or 52%. Even a bigger move out there. 30 per, 32 per, uh, $32 move or a 3% move for Mercado Libre. KLA Corp up 26 bucks, 5%. Chipotle up $26 as well. That's a 1 and 3 tenths percent move. To the downside, it's Enphase Energy off 17 bucks, down 10%. Aon PLC off 15 bucks or 4%. BioRed Laboratories, 15 bucks, 3.5%. Solar Edge, 12 bucks, 5%. Sleep Number, not having a good number, down 28% off 11 buckaroonies. So where do we want to begin? I'll tell you where we're going to begin. Again, we're going to begin with the uh, charts that we need to really focus on today to help us set what is likely going to be the outcome of the market. So let's do this here. Let's take a look at, oh, I don't want to first do. So first, let's take a look at intraday. Where are we at? So we're going to change panels here. You give me a moment. We'll go to those white background charts. And we're going to take a look at the 30-minute equity future contracts. And the reason that we are is because we have uh, TD9 count topping signals in all four of these. In fact, we now have the... Uh, the one for the Dow that completed as we were coming on the air. That high, 35,651. Just want to note that down here, 35,651. Perfect. Okay, so here we go. Write these numbers down. First number is 460725. That's the ES mini. That is the threshold level of its TD9 count top. That TD9 count top completed at 1030. If we get a 30 minute bar close above that level, that tells us about a further rally. And that's going to be really important when we start taking a look at the ES Mini out here. And you'll see momentarily when we take a look at that. So 46.0725, you get a 30-minute bar close out. And my suggestion is don't be short. Now, I'm not looking at the other time frame charts, see what else is out there. I'm just telling you what the 30-minute chart would be communicating to you and I. With regard to the NQ, the number that you're writing down is 15.82925. If we close above that, same thing. It will lead or should lead to a further rally. If we take a look at the Dow equity future contract, it just completed its TD9 count top at 11 a.m. And that high of that pattern, this is the number to write down, 30, 
5651. You get a close above that, we're likely headed higher. And finally, the Russell 2000, its number is 1996.40. So the good news, we have TD9 count tops for all four equity future contracts. So if you're an intraday trader, I can understand taking a uh, short position. Now, what you don't have out here are any levels of support that have been breached. So those would become the price targets to the downside. Those would be the oscillator and change lines because there are pro all the profiles with the exception of the Dow are much further below those OUL lines out there. So in the case of the ES Mini, it's around 45.94, 15.760 for the NQ, 35.574 in the case of the Dow and 19.80 for the Russell 2000. Folks, price has to at least close below those levels to tell you and I that for its 30 minute time frame that it has lost its momentum. But right now, momentum is very strong. The NQ out here right now is trading above that 15, 8, 29, 25 level. We've got 19 minutes left in the session. We want to watch that. So that's the first set of charts to be paying attention to. Why are we paying attention to these charts? Well, one of the reasons is see if I can do this well oh what's another chart let me let me re, let me rephrase let me restate let me let me provide a different question what's the next set of charts that you and I should be focused on that next set of charts are going to be the DAX the DAX what are you talking about Stevie we're in the US not in Germany yeah I know we are not in Germany but what we want to pay attention to is will the DAX close above 16 427 42 what's at 16 427 42 excellent question on a daily basis, it's a wave C, it's a wave seven pattern, that's letter G, and it's a Rhodes momentum indicator top at its all time high, by the way. On a weekly basis, so you've got the daily and the weekly charts, it is a Rhodes momentum indicator top. If those levels, if that level fails, in other words, if we get a close above 16, 427, 42, the DAX is going to form an A to B equal C D T upside on the daily time frame. I'm showing you the larger one on the weekly as well. So price is going to continue to move higher. Now, you might say, oh, that's nice, Stevie. That's interesting out there. But why are you focusing in on the DAX? So that's a great question. And let me just bring it all home. So we bring it all home. We're going to change windows. We're going to go back to those black background screens. And what we're going to put up here is our correlation tool. And we take a look at our correlation tool. The top is the NASDAQ 100. The center is the DAX. And the bottom is the directional correlation. This is set to a three-day. I believe three days is the is the minimum uh, that I can set this to. And bars that are above zero tells us about a directional correlation. 90% of these bars or 87% of these bars or whatever the high percentage is, show a strong directional correlation between the NASDAQ and the DAX. So if the DAX takes out that very important high, odds favor so too will the NDX 100, or ah, what it does is this really jeopardizes the um, the daily and the weekly patterns that we have going on inside of the ES and the NQ. Now let's uh, go from here, which uh, let's uh, let's go back to let me well, let me do this. Let me close out a couple of charts here, just uh, freeing up some resources, and we're going to go back to the white background charts, and we're going to take a look at the uh, weekly time frame. So let's just do this here. Let me switch panels. We're going to go to the weekly charts. Give me a moment. Uh, weekly, let's get there. And what we're going to look at is, actually, I'm going to take a look at the weekly uh, equity future contract. So this is what's being punched up on our screen right now. You'll see the TD9 count top for the ES. You'll see the Roadsman Dominicator top for the NQ and a TD9 count top. Again, inside the ES Mini out here. That high to be watching, 4609.25. We close above that. That negates the weekly sell signal. And that suggests to Stevie we head higher into mid August. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, 
dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's take a look at the weekly indice charts out here before we take a look at a couple of requests that have come in. So if we take a look at the Dow Jones, the upper left hand out here, what you don't see is any kind of a topping signal on the weekly time frame. Right. And what we know is we have price above its green oscillator and change line. It's above prior profiles out there. So we can uh, say volume or not, there's an A to B equals CD to the upside in the weekly time frame for the Dow. And that should take us beyond or at least up to its all time highs out there. So that's a signal coming from the weekly time frame for the Dow. Now, we don't have synergy here. When we take a look at the weekly charts. However, that synergy might come into fruition by day's end. The S&P 500. Remember, closing the S&P 500, now the cash indice, that level to be watching is going to be 457843. We were taking a look at equity future contracts earlier. 457843. We're trading at 4583 right now. A close above that negates the TD9 count top. And what that does, we already have an A to B equals CD pattern. It's achieved the one to one. And what that would do, and I'll show you what that pattern looks like here. Or at least I'll draw in the A to B, the 100% move out there. So there's your A to B. We'll just simply move this over to the uh, C point out there, the lowest, the lowest point that occurs after that B point, and you'll see we're beyond the one to one. So all the and we've got wave number seven out here. Now that wave seven pattern can't be confirmed until we have a lower high out there that could not take place until next week. But in essence, what we've got is an extension of the 1-1-A to B equals CD out there, and that would suggest higher price. Again, with that close above, and we're trading above it, last week's high. In the NDX 100, the cash indice, the number to be, pay, be paying attention to, don't worry, I'll spit it out, is 15-9-3205. 15 is the top of the TD9 count, and uh, it's the top of the TD9 count pattern, period, end and simple. You get a close above that, that says we had higher. Now remember, pay attention to that DAX out there. That's a little secret, but it's going to tell you a lot. Now, when does the German DAX close? Is that at 1130 or 1230? I don't recall. 1030, 1130, 12. I don't recall which one when we're in daylight savings time. Um, 
out there, but it could be in, in uh, 10 minutes out there. Um, and if that were maybe it's already closed. And if that's the case, and this is telling you if that again, and get it close above that, it's what it's doing is increasing the odds that the NDX 100's top will also fail out here. If you take a look at the Russell 2000, no top here. In fact, that just tells us that price wants to go target. It's a swing point. The most recent swing point high is up at the 2007 uh, level. So no top there to be paying attention to. In the case of the semis, another important indice out here. Um, if we get a, let me see, where is this top? So actually it does not have a, it's got a wave seven top. That's it. And are we trading above? Let's see. Last week's high was 38. 55, 48, 38. No, we haven't traded above that uh, just yet. So I don't have a topping pattern. Uh, well, I, I take that back. We have a wave seven topping pattern in the weekly time frame. If we just simply tick above last week's high, that just simply continues itself. The transports here are going to form bar number nine. They will confirm a TD nine count top today for the week. But they will not complete that pattern until next Friday. In the case of the NASDAQ Composite, the NASDAQ Composite has both a TD9 count and Rhodes Mentum Indicator top. Again, a close above that high, which is at 14,446.55, tells us about higher prices. New York Stock Exchange in the process of forming bar number eight right now. That says potential top between this week and two weeks out. So watch the S&P 500. Said the S&P 500, probably the most important chart to watch today out here yeah i'd say that that's it the s p as well as the es mini so that's kind of a decent overview hopefully more than a decent overview of the markets what to be focused on today and what the markets will communicate to us depending on its close so now let's get to a couple of the requests that have come in the first one coming in from jambalaya great question the question is really about bearish engulfing candles and he, he provided me with a number of different indices. I'm just going to choose the diamonds, if that's okay with you. Why? Because, you know, most people are paying attention to that indice as well. So this will be helpful to you. This will be helpful to them. So let's talk about bullish and bearish candlesticks out there. What kind of meaning do they have? Well, the first meeting that comes with a bullish or bearish candlestick pattern just simply provides us with a new level of support for whatever just a level of support or resistance depends on the candle formation. That's it. A random Japanese candlestick that just appears is just really providing us with support or resistance. It does not tell us something has topped. It does not tell us something has bottomed. It does tell us something has topped and something has bottomed. What do you mean, Steve? You just told us it hasn't. It tells us when something is topped or bottomed at the end of a pattern where bullish and bearish Japanese, if you want to understand the real power of those Japanese candlesticks, it is at the end of the completion of a pattern. When something's happened in the middle, there's no top or bottom signal out there. Again, all it does is establish a new frame of support or resistance, kind of like a football game. You haven't made it to the end zone, but you do have some new yardage markers or what have you. As an example, let's just take a look at a week, a monthly time frame chart here for the Dow Diamonds. We had a bearish engulfing candle that formed out here, Jambalaya, in May of 2023. And that bearish engulfing candle happened right below resistance, which was its oscillator and change line. What did that meaning have? Nothing other than, didn't tell us the market had topped, didn't tell us the market had bottomed. It just was interesting information. It just told us where there was a new level of resistance. Well, we closed above that level of resistance last week. So that just simply failed. Now let's take the Dow Diamonds. The Dow Diamonds, let's take a look at its patterns out here. The Dow Diamonds formed a TD9 count top, the bar following bar number nine on July 25th. And the very next day, which was Thursday, no, the next day, which was Wednesday, guess what happened? Price closed above that pattern by one penny. It negated that topping signal. So there was no longer a TD9 count top. What did yesterday's bearish engulfing candle do? That's the question really from Jambalaya. But the answer is it did form a top, not because it was a bearish engulfing candle. It formed a top because it was the completion of the A to B equals CD pattern. Totally different. Totally different out here. So here's the A to B. And I'm just simply going to move this line over to the C point. That's the lowest low that takes place after the B point gets formed. And there you go, right there, basically. And you can see we exceeded just a bit more than that one-to-one -one level. That sets up a sell the D point pattern. The power of bullish and bearish Japanese candlesticks is when they complete a pattern out here. Now, is the Dow Diamonds bearish? That's my question back to you. 
If you're watching us on Tiger TV, which you should be, or if you're watching us inside the Tiger's Den, answer that question. Did yesterday's bearish engulfing candle that confirmed a sell the D point pattern, is that a bearish signal right now? The answer to that is no, it is not. Now, prior to having developed the oscillator and change line, my answer to that question would have been yes. And that would have been a false qu uh, answer. Why? Because when price is above a rising price oscillator, and how do we know that? Well, that's what the oscillator and change line tells us. When price is above a green oscillator and change line, that tells us we have a rising price oscillator above zero. I don't care how you slice it. That is a bullish message. So we have both a bullish and a bearish message. So what we really have then is what? Neutral. So yesterday, we have a confirmed sell the D point pattern. Absolutely. No doubt about it. And we may in some of those other indices, but if they didn't complete a pattern, then the answer would be that was just interesting information out here. But not until we see momentum fail. The only way momentum fails here is you've got to get it closed below that green oscillator and change line at 352.96 right now. So hope that helped answer your question with regard to bullish or bearish engulfing candles and all the other Japanese candlesticks. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. We're going to take a look at Tesla and MDB. Attention traders, Larry Pesavento, the renowned trading mastermind, is holding an exclusive live trading event on Wednesday, August 2nd. From 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, transform your trading skills with the real-time wisdom of a Wall Street veteran. Just $295 gets you a front row seat to this power-packed session, plus a month free of Larry's sought-after newsletter, Fibonacci 24-7 a $97 value. Elevate your strategies, decode the markets, and achieve your financial goals. Remember, this event will be archived for all attendees, and Larry only does a few of these a year. Don't miss this opportunity. Sign up today at TFNN.com. Secure your future and start trading smarter. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
welcome back, uh, folks. So we do have the uh, 30-minute bars uh, that have come to a close. Uh, the ES Mini negated. It's TD9 count top. I wouldn't be short this market. This is suggesting this wants to move higher. If we take a look at the NQ, it negated. It's TD9 count top. We take a look at the uh, Dow, it negated its TD9 count top. The Russell hasn't, so three out of four have. This tells us this rally should continue. We'll try to figure out where the next area of resistance is, but this stage here, these charts are telling us about, and it's a significant rally, at least for these 30-minute time frames. So as an example, let's just stay with the 30-minute here. It's a strong momentum. We know price above its oscillator and change on. We just kind of covered that out here. And now where price is likely going to go target is the highs from yesterday. And that's up at that uh, 9 o'clock high, which is up at that 46.34 level. That's well above the high that it needs to take out to negate its uh, topping patterns out there, both daily and uh, weekly. So um, so that's what we have there. Um, let's go take a look. Let's, let's take a look at the requested upcoming. We just have a few. And the first one, well, actually, there were three. Uh, one was uh, the SMHs. So let me do that one uh, first out here. So we take a look at the SMH. Here's an example of bullish or bearish Japanese candlesticks. Yesterday, most people would say the market was just ugly. But what was the Japanese candlestick signal yesterday in the semis? It had a horrible day for all intents and purposes. It gapped up. If we would just take a look at the SMH out here, it gapped to the upside. That's a bullish signal out here. There was no bearish candle that formed yesterday inside of the SMHs. If you were just going to take signals from just whether it's a bullish candle or a bearish candle, you'd get all out bullish. We wouldn't do that here. Why? Because we know that it has a top that's in place already. How was that top formed? That top was formed with a Rhodes indicator top. It was confirmed with a bearish engulfing candle on July the 9th. So we know that we've got resistance at the high of that pattern. That's up at the uh, 1, 1, uh, 60, 79 area. And a price close above that, 160.79, you're going to negate its daily top. You're going to negate its weekly top. And on Monday, you could be negating its monthly top out there. So what's the number to be paying attention to inside the SMHs out here? It's going to be the high of... Um, of this pattern it's at 160.79 we close above 160.79 the smh's will turn all out bullish daily weekly and monthly and that says no top in place here again so when we take a look at so what might be going on inside the markets out here what might be going on instead of using this is the ndx 100 as an example instead of using 37 years worth of data to figure out its seasonal pattern instead what we want to do is we're going to go down to a little bit shorter term time frame such as a 10 minute and here on a 10 minute time frame this tells us that the ndx 100 on average over the last 10 years is not topped until the middle of august and so the signals that we're looking at today inside the dax the es mini all the signals out here here, that is more likely what we're looking at. That's why I said if those levels get taken out, we're likely looking at a market that rallies into mid-August. At least from a seasonal standpoint, that's what uh, it shows up on our screens out here. Okay, let's go take a look at the uh, next request. The next request is uh, take a look at Tesla out here. This is for John C. inside the Tiger's Den. So TSLA is the uh, ticker symbol. We have price that is uh, trading with inside its daily profile. It closed below the bottom of its profile yesterday. That was at the 258.64. That was a one-hit wonder. We're back above it today. The consolidation with inside that profile continues. Now, in the case of uh, Tesla, Tesla gapped to the downside back on the trading day of July 20th. That established a Rhodes momentum indicator top out here. And until price takes that out, Will it tell us anything different? But what we do have is we have support that is held. And so this is just consolidating sideways. When we look at the weekly time frame chart for Tesla, this formed a TD nine count top out here. It did that last week. It completed the pattern. Now, price should make its way back to its oscillator and change line. You are trading right now below the top of its profile, 265.73. John, I would say if price remains below that this week, I'd still favor a pullback to the 243-ish area. Between 231.93 and 243.20 would be the likely target to the downside if you were interested in knowing that. The monthly chart is very bullish out here. Daily has a top. Weekly has a top. No levels of support have been breached. In, a weekly, uh, in the weekly case, no level of support has really been tested. And that 
tested level would have to be uh, between 231.93 and 243.20. So I hope that helps you out uh, with regard to uh, Tesla, John, and uh, thanks so much for the request. The uh, last request that I have at this stage here, I believe, unless there was another one that was put in here, um, is uh, to take a look at, uh, not McEwen, mine, and MDB. Oh, MDB, that's on my big set of charts out here. So Dan really wanted to take, this is for Dan inside the Tiger's Den. He wanted to really understand the 10-minute I thought I had a 10-minute chart. I've got a 15. I'll change this for you. I'll change this. Oh, I've got a 10-minute over here. Let me pull this over. So why don't you're really interested in the uh, in, in the very intraday time charts out here. What is a 10-minute chart for MDB telling us? Well, right now, price is trading above. It's bearish structured 30-minute, 10-minute profile out here. If price is able to close for a second consecutive bar, that's got four minutes, less than four minutes to go, about 405 out here, especially if it closes above that oscillator and change line. What that signals to you and I is likely a rally up towards that 412 level. So that's the MDB. So you want to watch uh, what's the oscillator and change line? Good question. On a 10-minute basis, that is up at uh, 405.79 to be exact. Now let's look at the other time frames. You wanted 10 and I believe 30 was your focus. So let's take a look at 30. We'll take a look at the other ones as well, but I want to knock these out of the way. With regard to a 30-minute time frame chart here, Dan, what you have is a consolidation within its uh, profile level between 397.78 and 408.43. Now, it's a 30-minute chart, and we've got uh, 24 minutes. So I was going to say, if we get a bullish reversal candle, that would actually, what it looks like to me on a 30-minute time frame, is you have a three drive to a bottom pattern. The problem with that pattern right now, as I see it, is we don't have a bullish reversal candle to confirm that pattern. So that's a 30-minute chart. Now let's step back and take a look at the other time frame charts for MDB. Monthly chart says, I want to get up to 5.1954. We're trading above profile. We're trading above um, the green oscillator and change line, 5.1954. TD9 count breakdown resistance. On a weekly basis, you have a TD9 count top that's in place with price trade above the top of its bearish structured profile. Closed above it last week. You close above it again this week. It being, let me give you that number, 403.29. We're trading above that right now. The signal on a weekly basis becomes neutralized. You've got a top, but you're trading above uh, a resistance. Uh, so when you're trading above support as well, and uh, therefore the signal would be uh, would be uh, neutralized on a daily time frame. Rhodes momentum indicator top that was confirmed with a three river evening star. All that that has done has led to a consolidation with inside its bullish structured profile. MDB has significant support between 392 and 402. I'm leaving off the cents on a 195 minute time frame. See what we have here. You have a Rhodes momentum indicator top. Price uh, being able to hold support. Uh, that support level out here, 394.74. So, Dan, I hope that that provided you with the information that you were looking for with regard to MDB. How would I call it? I would just simply call it a consolidation with inside its daily profile after forming a Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, up, folks. So we're going to take a look at Microsoft. This is for Nancy inside the Tiger's Den. Steve is having some trouble here with his uh, getting the cooperation from his trading tools. There we go. So in the case of Microsoft, Microsoft uh, closed below the B point of an A to B equals CD with lighter volume. The B point, Nancy, was a trading session of July 21st. Volume on that was 69 million shares. When we closed below it, a few days ago, it was 58 million shares. Yesterday, was 39 million shares out there, and price closed below the bottom of its profile. But what we can see here is that closed below the bottom of its profile support. Um, that appears to be a one-hit wonder. We're back inside that uh, profile level. So if this is going to turn into an A to B equals CD to the downside, price should find resistance between the 340.22 to 340.303 level. Price closed above 343.03, you're headed to 346. So you've got a daily Rhodes momentum indicator top uh, that has uh, formed inside of Microsoft. You have a weekly TD9 count top. Now, the weekly chart that I'd be paying attention to here, I'd be paying attention to the top of its profile. Where does price close at day's end? Does price close above the top of its profile, which is 338.56 or 337.56 right now? So $1. If we close back above it, you would have a TD nine count top that's in place out here that would be generating a neutral signal, not a bearish signal, a neutral signal. Why? Because price would be above its green oscillator and change line and above the top of its profile. That's not the condition we have at the moment, but I'm just providing you with that information so at day's end you can reevaluate what did Microsoft just communicate to you. On a monthly time frame, price is testing its all time high. It's really, it's not its all time, it's all time. Um, uh, I, uh, it's just testing the high from December of 2021 out there. And uh, that high on a monthly basis did volume of 509 million shares. Last month, we were moving into that with 547. So that said, uh, we were going to go test that high. And even if we closed, rejected and closed below, which we did, we get back up there and test it. Well, that's what we've done so far this month, too. This month, 624 million shares versus 509. You know what that says? Even we close back below that high, Nancy, that says Microsoft is going to retest that high again. Maybe it's going to bust it out of there. So where are we on the daily time frame? Daily time frame, even though there's an A to B equals C to the downside, 
It has been confirmed by volume, and price is now holding that support level of 334.60. Price was also moving into a swing point yesterday. That was this bullish hammer can from July 11th. 26 million shares there. You were moving down with more. You were 39 million shares, but right now you've got a rejection. Today's volume in Microsoft is at about 11 million shares, so we're pretty light. We're about 30 million shares out there. Um, I don't know what else can I provide Nancy with. I can provide you with a 30-minute time frame chart. So on a 30-minute basis for Microsoft, what do we have? We have a road momentum indicator bottom that was confirmed with this uh, gap to the upside. Jambalaya, if you're still listening. So you got all these road momentum indicator signals here that are triggered. Well, maybe you didn't know they're triggered. They're triggered with regard to those black diagonal lines that get drawn. It's drawn automatically because it fits within the requirements of the pattern. Uh, that I developed out there, but that gets confirmed. We all those all those signals. There was never a confirmation of a bullish move. Not until we got the bullish reversal candle. Now, this morning was that gap to the upside. Now price is trading above profile, Nancy, at 336.27. That suggests that we should get back to at least this high from 10 o'clock yesterday, and that's at the uh, between 338. And 341.33. When I say that high, I really meant that uh, swing point out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at Microsoft. I hope that that helps you out. I don't believe that I have any further questions. So let's call it a day. Let's go hit the links out there. It sounds pretty good to Stevie. Let's go do this here. Instead of doing that, because I can hit the links in about um, mm, 37 minutes from now. Uh, but let's go take a look at what else is going on inside the NDX 100. Just to get a feel here. So with regard to the NDX 100, let's uh, switch to uh, from this chart set of panels, this up uh, this panel set of charts to the uh, top uh, eight holdings weighting wise. So that's going to be this. So the number one weighting, we already covered Microsoft, no reason for us to go there. Jambalaya, yes, about bullish uh, reversal candles. If we take a look at Apple, Apple had triggered a Rosemont indicator signal, but it never generated a bearish reversal candle, not until yesterday. So what does Apple have? Apple has a confirmed Rosemont indicator top. Does that make it bearish? It does not. Why does it not, Stevie? Well, right now, price is trading above the top of its profile. That's at 195.30. It's trading above its green oscillator and change line just slightly, which is up at 196.07. That says that the signal here is neutralized. You close back below 195.30. That would then suggest that Apple should make its way to 191.40, between 189.45 and 191.40. So do we have a top? We do. But what's its signal? Neutral. Do we have a top inside Microsoft? We do. How about NVIDIA? NVIDIA has that road momentum indicator signal triggered. Do you see a bearish reversal candle with inside this? The answer is no. So this is not a confirmed top. All this is is a consolidation between support and resistance. Support at 444.75, resistance 474.86. Amazon has a confirmed road momentum indicator top. All the price has done is made its way back to support which has held nothing bearish there so to speak bearish pattern that just simply says that sellers only have the right to push back to support if they can bust support well then it's a different story no different story inside of amazon tesla we've already covered tesla facebook out here facebook gap to the upside we might have a caller do we have a caller we do we've got garo in newport beach garo thanks for calling thanks for holding how are you today i'm very good sir how about you Excellent. I'm better now, having heard your voice. Uh, you are calling to discuss BILI. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, that's Tell us a what Chinese uh, stock. Uh, yes. I, it's very, very seldom I trade Chinese. Um, uh, so, uh, but anyways, uh, I want I want your blessing and your idea regarding this daily chart. It, okay. it hit that 200 SMA. I see that. You think that it has room to go higher to 200 EMA and above, or is going to fail like uh, April and May? Okay, so that's an excellent question. I'm going to get my other charts here fired up. First, with regard to these charts, that I'm, uh, am I showing anything? I'm not. I'm going to I'll switch over to the Garo chart. So give me a moment here, folks. Uh, Garo is one of those people. He's the only person, actually. He's got his own um, workspace inside Stevie's system. So, uh, uh, yeah. and that makes it much that makes it much easier for me. Um, so yeah. here, if we take a look at what Garo was referring to, is so if you look at the left hand side, that's a daily time frame. That green line. And so Garo used a number of different moving averages. 
He uses a five-day simple and a 21-day simple, and he's always looking for those crossovers. So that's the first element. He's also using a 50-day and a 200-day. The green line that's out here, I've got a dash line and a solid line. Uh, that uh, solid line is the 200-day exponential moving average. The question is, will price move above that? Yeah. Price right now today, Garrow, if it closes above 1784, is bullish. But, of course, you've identified what can be a resistance point. The weekly chart suggests that it wants to make a move to the top of its profile level. Now, is that is at 2060. So that's what these charts with your tools. I've added my t one tool here, which was the TAS market profiles. So what I'd like to do here, Gar, is move over to the white background charts to see what they're communicating to you and I right now. And as we take a look at those on a daily time frame, we can see that price is likely going to go target 1936. We're at 1902 right now. 1936. 1936 is its TD9 count breakdown resistance level. We come back from this break, we're going to finish take a look at BILI, that is Billy Billy, with Garo in Newport Beach. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're taking a look at the ticker symbol for B, uh, B. We're taking a look at B I Bill B I L I. That is Billy Billy. It's a as uh, Garo said, it's a, a, a Chinese stock out here. And the question is, do my charts indicate that price is likely to take out its 200-day exponential moving average? Here's what my charts are communicating to us, Garo. That more likely than not, that price is going to go target 2001 or thereabouts. 2001 is the monthly oscillator and change line. The last time the price was up here 
was the uh, month of January of 2023, and that acted as a resistance level. And so that is going to be a uh, very likely price target. The reason I say that's a likely price target is you have, I know you don't use volume, but today already you have 12.7 million shares. It's got an A to B equal CD out here. It's already completed the one to one. Price should really target 1936. Now I know it's not trading at 1898 right now. It's trading at 1880. I've got a little bit of a delay on this chart here uh, for some reason. Uh, but it's above resistance, so it should go. Uh, it should go tech, tag the next resistance level at 1936. The weekly says I'm above a uh, bullish structured weekly profile. When that happens, it increases the odds, Garo, that price will make a run mm -hmm. for resistance, which in this case is 2060 and 2253. But before I can get to those numbers, 1936, yeah, no problem. But before we can get to any of those numbers, and will it be able to truly take out in a meaningful way that 200 period exponential moving average? If price closes above 2001 on a monthly basis, so that would be Monday, I would say the answer to that question would be yes. Do I think it'll move higher? I do. Is it going to move substantially higher? That I don't know. Because, uh, you know, I don't know how price is going to, just like you and I, you don't know how the price is going to handle the 200-day X minutes moving average. We're looking for some additional clues out here to help us. Um, it looks like it should at least move higher. And that 200-day is at, uh, where's that at? 1914, I believe is where the 200-day uh, simple moving average is at. Garo, any questions? I realize we're almost in end of the show. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was excellent. Thank you, sir. You're the man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll talk to you Monday. Thank that you. That sounds sir. great. Bye -bye. Folks, uh, thanks so much for joining us this week and uh, stay tuned for all the great program we've got lined up. Have a fabulous, a fantastic weekend. Be safe out there. And I'll look forward to seeing you on Monday as well. Take care.